Hey, I'm Zach. I'm 17 years old. I go to New Plymouth Boys High School. And today I'm here to find out what a petrochemical field operator does. And what better place to learn than in the oil-rich Taranaki at Shell Top Oil Services with Operations Capability Manager, Morris Gilmore. Hey, Zach, how are you going? Hey, good. Morris, pleased to meet you. Welcome to your first day. You keen to get into it? Definitely. Perfect. Come on board. We'll show you around. Cool. Shell Todd Oil Services operates a number of Taranaki fields, while Shell Exploration New Zealand operates Pohokura, where wellstream fluids from its onshore and offshore wells are processed at the production station. Pohokura produces gas and light oil condensate. The condensate is pumped to the ports for refining, whilst gas is fed directly into the national grid to our doorstep, all of which is controlled by the petrochemical operator and, in this case, is done remotely 20 kilometres away. Well, Zach, this is the hub of it all. This is where Poakura is all controlled. So this is what we call our RCR, which is the remote control room. This is where our sole operator sits and operates the Poakura production station. It's a lot more high tech than I thought, actually. Technology's uh, made some changes from the way we used to operate to the way we operate today. Uh, and Poakura is a good example of that, where technology's enabled us to have a, a, an unmanned plant. For, for most of our operating time, we have a control room operator remote. He looks after the plant on his own. How's it going? I'm Zach. Hi, Zach. Nice to meet you. I'm Reese. So you're an operator, are you? Yeah, that's right. From the remote control room, our operators can uh, monitor plant. If we need to start and stop wells, that can all be done from here. Um, if there's something that seems a little bit abnormal, we've got quite a sophisticated camera system, so they can zoom in, have a look at the plant, uh, maybe make some decisions on what they see. So what do we do if something does go wrong? Well, we'll get an alarm in and respond accordingly, depending on what the alarm is. So that's just an alarm come up for high vibration. Usually 95% of the problems we can sort from here. So today, Zach, we're lucky enough to have a, uh, an operator on site to immediately go and have a look at the um, problem that we got. Do you want to just uh, press the button on the radio here? Ask to copy Kieran. Kieran, do you copy? Here you go, ahead. Just tell him that you've got high vibration on the condensate rundown cooler. Uh, we've got high vibration on the condensate cooler. Yeah, right to that. I'll go and have a look for you. Cool. Cheers. All seems pretty simple, doesn't it? Just relax back, click a few buttons. Yeah, a bit of a Homer Simpson job, people think, but it's yeah. not really. Uh, a lot of training goes into it. Usually uh, five years in the field or so. A lot of courses, qualifications and that kind of thing. How do you learn all that? Well, you can start off by reading this. This is the operating manual for poker. Memorise that, we'll let you loose on the plant. Sounds like a plan. Petrochemical field operator, basically we start in the field, they get an understanding of the wells, the separating processes, product temperature, flows. Once they've got a feeling for all of that, they also start to learn the control room. Stuff's pretty intense, Rhys. Come on, you'll get it. In terms of breaking into the industry, we've taken raw people who've had no hydrocarbon skills before, but equally we've taken people who've had trade qualifications, that might be instrumentation electrical, could be mechanical, and even just people who have worked on a hydrocarbon plant, so they already know and are aware of the hazards. So did you get through it, did you? Of course, all sorted. Did you really? Yeah, nah, not really, eh? <laughs> Don't worry, it takes a lot of years to get to this point. I've got to go out there anyway now and do a bit of maintenance and routine activities. How about we send you out with Morris and we can show you around? Cool, awesome, let's do it. Dealing with dangerous substances is expected in this job, so naturally, safety is number one on the list of priorities. And it's one Zach needs to be competent in before he can progress. Safety for us is huge. I mean, safety is number one. It comes above production, it comes above finance. So for anybody coming onto our site, so we all go through an HSE induction, and that's really around our site contains hazards. It's about making sure that people go home the way they came to work. Okay, Zach, this is one of our main gas lines. Um, from here it goes and leaves the plant and uh, joins into the Maui pipeline and the end users will take it from there. Often our operations team are required to take samples just to make sure that we're here, we've got our specifications right and meeting the demands of the market. And you know, failure to do so can, can cause some drama for the end user. So really important that we hit those specifications right on the button before we put product out the gate. So how important is it to do these tests? It is important we get it right because we're supplying 40% of New Zealand's gas and we've got to make sure that the gas meets the standard. It's a lot of people. It is a lot of people. Just as important is ensuring the steady flow of oil to meet market demand. Assurance attained by regular maintenance. 
Okay, Zach, so this is a pig and we're going to launch it down our condensate pipeline to the tank farm. So what's a pig and why are we launching it? Pig's an acronym for pipeline inspection gauge. Some people say it's because it squeals as it goes down the pipeline, but it's used for uh, cleaning, the, cleaning the pipeline. Uh, it's, it's quite dangerous. There's quite a, quite a bit of hydrocarbon vapour will come out, so make sure there's no electronic equipment and that kind of thing. It's a wee bit complicated, always two people to do it. So there's actually a lot more to this job than I thought. Eh? It's not just all about sitting in the control room playing with buttons, is it? No, there's certainly a uh, hands-on hands -on aspect, but you learn as you go, and um, you have mentors there. So if you're not, a, you're not comfortable doing anything, you can always ask. So should we launch this beast then, eh? Yeah, absolutely. There's already one in there, though. You can go and launch it, though, if you like. Mate, let's do it. Oh, I'll do it right the way. All day. Keep going. Rewards for people. I guess it depends on the drivers for individuals, Good. but there's oh. um, progression through companies and even international travel. So, yeah, the options are endless, and I guess it just depends how big of people want their vision to go. Yeah, you hear that? She's going now. Yeah, yep. Good. Job well done. Let's go. Zag may have successfully launched his pig, but does Morris think he's got what it takes to launch his career? Yep, he'd make a good operator and uh, we may see him in our overalls yet. I think the job is very interesting, but uh, variety between working in the control room and working out here on site, and um, definitely a job I think I can get into. And if you want to get into a career as a petrochemical operator, you can start by attaining your National Certificate in Energy and Chemical Plant Process Operations Level 2 and 3, which can be learnt on the job with support from employers and the Extractive Industries Training Organisation. The job offers a blend of indoor-outdoor work, usually on a rotating shift roster. With the discovery of new reservoirs, the demand for petrochemical operators is increasing, so job opportunities are high, as is the potential for travel, as reservoirs are located around the world. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.